Hey guys, if you have a couple of croissants lying around, I have the recipe for you. Sometimes I just feel like I need to give myself a little gift, and I love making desserts that are just really tasty and very quick to put together. You use simple ingredients, yet come out to be absolutely gorgeous and beautiful and taste so good. I'm not a dessert person in terms of making them. I've never been a huge sweet tooth, but I like making certain staples that are fast and are just very good. So today I'm gonna to show you how to make a croissant bread pudding in a skillet, no bake, no oven needed. Very simple, I'm gonna start off with both my evaporated and my condensed milk. Put that into my pan here. All I wanna do here is just kinda of warm up everything. I'm gonna add in a little bit of nutmeg and some vanilla essence. Just mix that in. Once it's slightly warm and properly combined, we're gonna go ahead and place that into my first bowl here. Now I'm gonna grab some brandy. And I just want to cook that down until most of the alcohol content is gone. Add a little bit of honey to it. Just quickly flambe that and just burn all that alcohol that's in there. Once your flames have died down, go ahead and add that to our milk mixture. Let that cool off a little bit, but not too much. You want something still warm. Two egg yolks go right inside. So what we're doing here is just making sure that we're really kind of beating the egg yolks in. Starting to warm them up slowly so that when we put them in the skillet, they don't get too shocked. All that is ready to go. Now we're just gonna use two pieces of croissant, which we're just gonna chop up. This recipe works best when your croissant is almost kind of stale, actually. We're gonna mix that all in. Make sure that bread really kind of just absorbs all that liquid that's in there. A Little bit of salt. Mix that in. Put your pan on. Some butter. Place that all in. Kind of press it down just like this. So all you need to do now is cook it at a very slow heat and just cook it down until you get a very nice caramelized bottom. All right, our bread pudding is almost done. We're gonna go ahead and just whip up our cream. So this will just be the perfect kind of accompaniment to put right on top. After that little workout, when you have cream that's nice and thick, you're basically good to go. When you move it around, it's very important that it's not jiggly anymore. That means basically all the eggs that are in there are pretty much good and set. So as you witnessed it, it's a very quick recipe to put together. Go ahead and take a large piece out. Perfect recipe to do last minute when you have people coming over and you're not sure what to make. This is the type of food you wanna do. It's really simple. Grab some cream. Not a dessert guy, but this works 100%.